Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. This is James Holder for I From London. I'm at York Hall backstage. With me, I've got Stephen Smith. How are you doing, Steve? So, I'm good, thanks. Very good, very yeah. good. Jose Lewis. Gratterol, I think. Grat Gratterol. I'll yeah. be careful because he's next door. Yeah. I don't want to row you, Gratterol. I'm just pronouncing your name. Quite a durable uh, opponent. Um, slippery Venezuelan. What did you think? Yeah, to be honest, that's the reason we got him. We knew he was he was good. He was compact and, you know, he, he, he'd, he'd get rounds and he'd been with... He's been in the ring with world champions in the past, and you know he's done well. He had, he had a, a lot of experience, and you know after my last two round, both uh, last two fights, both being one round blowouts, uh, you know the main the main ambition tonight was get rounds in, and you know I've done that. I was still a little eager at the start, but you know once Joe got the game plan in my head and I relaxed, uh, tried a lot of things out, and you know at the end of the day, I done what I, done what I set out to, and, and I got eight good rounds in. Quite a rangy, quite a tall opponent. What what did uh? Manchester's answer to Freddie Roach tell you what did Joe Gallagher give instructions to he have yeah to be honest with you he's been telling me to keep me head a lot more than you know I knew he'd, he'd cause a lot of problems he'd keep me thinking and you know he does a lot of good things he does a lot of things right the Venezuelan kid and you know we're, we're, without being you know overly confident I should should have the skills to, to, to be better than him in there and, and to win the rounds and you know just go out there and try and win every round as I can and use my boxing ability and you know I think from three rounds onwards I did that you know I still went out a little bit eager and you know, that, that's coming out of me now and you know I think I know the power's there and you know I can always go back to that if I land on anyone if I hate them then you know I'll get them out but you know today was about boxing and you know hopefully I've done that. It's great to get the rounds on your belt as you say last yeah. two fights quick quick ends yeah. um, but you don't get paid for overtime. You know, no of course you know again if I went out there in this one you know I'm not going to say I, I'd be gutted coming home with it with a first round knockout like I was in my last two but you know every fight's different and you know, tonight I, I'm not going home with any disappointments. I'm going home happy that I've got eight good rounds under my belt, another win, and I'm moving on. I'm, I'm getting back to where I want to be. Have you and Joe Gallagher thought about what the future plans is? I don't want to talk about a certain gentleman. If that fight was available, um, would that be a fight you would be looking for? No, look, don't get me wrong. You know, that was just, you know, maybe, maybe I come across a little bit wrong yesterday on the interview, but, you know, that's the fight I want. You know, but I'm not going to get a name off calling someone else out you know I'm not going to be like the junior with with Ricky and that's that's not me and that's not I, I believe in my own ability and you know he, he beat me that that's all credit to him but you know me and anyone who watched that fight knows that weren't the best of me and I believe on my day I'll beat him but you know I can't sit here after every fight mentioning him all the time and you know calling him out that's not my style you know I understand. I've said after me fighting the interview then hey I wish him all the best if he gets that European title fight I'll be supporting him as much as anyone I hope he wins and you know it's a bigger fight down the line when I do get my opportunity because I believe I'll keep winning I'll get my opportunity and I'll beat Lee Selby. If he does vacate and go for the, Euro uh, the Commonwealth belt, the European belt do you think do you think that's again another another um, stepping stone for you for another big fight for that British again? Yeah, don't get me wrong, you know, if, if he vacates, then, yeah, I'll go for the British while I'm waiting and, you know, I love that title, I want that belt back, but, you know, I don't see any reason why he has to, you know, why not fight for the European and defend, defend the three of them against me, you know, there's no reason why not we can fight for the three titles, but either way, I still see that happening because if he vacates, I'll go for that, you know, I'm very confident I'll win that and I'll still be aiming, aiming the same way and that's moving onwards and upwards and, you know, the, the fight will happen down the line, I'm very confident that I've just got to keep winning. Fantastic. Well, I, I thought you looked really good today, noticeably of how powerful your left hook is. Are you naturally left-handed? No, you know what, I'm, I'm right-handed, but, you know, everyone asks about all of us in the house, you know. My dad's left-handed, and I don't know, we've all got good left-hands in the house. I don't know where, whether it's anything to do with that, but, you know, we all are predominantly left-handed, but we're all right with our right hand. We've all been right-handed through school, and it's just something we've all developed. Yeah, I'm actually the same. Yeah, weird. Yeah. weird. Not, obviously, not as, yeah. uh, <laughs> not as uh, uh, in tune, shall we say, but, yeah. Well, well done, well done today. It was, oh, it was good to much. see you out getting a win, and hopefully we get a chance to catch up with you and your thanks brothers much. real soon. Yeah, thanks very much. Nice one. James Holder with Stephen Smith for iFilm London at your call. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>